Hi guys and good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Joyce All Knowing Tarot. Hope everyone is having a wonderful morning. Good morning. Hope everyone's doing great. Yes, I put a little face on today. Thought I'd spruce up just a little bit. Sometimes everybody needs it. All us girls need to do that every now and then. I've gotten really lazy about putting on makeup since I retired. And especially since this whole pandemic because I'm not usually going anywhere. But nevertheless, I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. And if your ha day hasn't started yet, I hope you will have a blessed day. So I know here we are Thursday. And I've been talking to you guys every week. That's Bear, by the way, in the back here. She's, since she's gotten further along her present pregnancy, she's gotten really super clingy. But um, I've always talked to you guys for the last few weeks about the laws of attraction. There's principles that we have to maintain. There's principles that have to happen. And so the one that I'm talking about with you today is the law of uh, harmony or synchronization. So what is that? That is when you align yourself with a universal energy flow. You have to be aligned. Let me give you an example. So we moved here from Vegas four years ago. We were renting a house. The people that uh, the realtor that was renting the house for the owners tell us that they want to sell the house. It's now November. We're getting ready to go into December. We are not even thinking about buying the house, not the house we were in or any house at that time. And so we, we bought a little time. We said, okay, well, we'll talk about it and we'll think about buying the house. And then that house, we talked about it. We decided that house wasn't going to be the house for us. It just wasn't going to be our forever home uh, based on a lot of different things. And uh, so we went to a realtor. We went to an open house, went to a realtor, met the guy, young guy, and the funny thing is, I had said to myself, I said, I want a nice young guy. I wanted a millennial, you know, that could really be able to show me where there were some great place, places to live and give me some options. And that wasn't too, you know, fuddy-duddy or whatever. And so the next thing you know, he and I, we exchanged numbers and my husband and we're in touch. So we start, he recommends us to go and get our background checked and all of that. And everything was good, except for he had a card note. And it was pretty, we had a, you know, a nice amount left on that. And he was saying to us, based on that and one other thing, we probably have to wait to next year to get the house. Now, I already knew I really didn't have to next year, like next summer, actually, to get the house. And so I said, okay. I said, I'll be back in two weeks. And I said, then we will get this part, financial part done and we'll buy a house. He was like, uh, okay. I mean, there's no rush. You know, I'll be here, whatever, whatever. I said, don't worry about it. So we go in, we gather up our resources because every time that you send to need money for something, do you notice you always have it? Yes. So that's what happened. We ended up, we boom, paid off the car, boom, paid off this other bill. Two weeks later, I told him we are ready to buy. And he was utterly shocked. They did the background on us. Everything was clear. We shopped around for houses. We found this house that we're in. It fit us perfectly. And it took about two and a half weeks to get to closing because no one was living here at the time. And yeah, and then we closed. And then we've been here ever since. We were in alignment with the energy that we were heading in. The energy for us was we had decided at the end of it, the, of it all, we were going to own a house. We didn't say it had to be this house. We didn't say it had to be that house. I threw away all doubts of the realtor. I threw away all, you know, crazy timelines of next year or two years or all of that. That was out the window. I knew that if I put my focus in this particular direction that my energy was going in, that that is what was going to happen. And I work with the energy and it worked fast and smooth and quick. On the other hand, I've had situations where it wasn't really meant for me. And have you noticed when it's not for you, you have to push and pull and do and talk to and permission from and understanding about this. It's just so much 
that even if you attain that goal, you never even get to hold on to it because it wasn't really meant for you. You weren't in alignment. You forced it. And so if you want to be a manifester, the law of attraction says you have to be in synchronization and harmony with the universe. Get yourself aligned with the universal energy and you will see magic happen in your life. Now, today, what are we looking at today? Well, the first thing I want to say is that um, they just passed the George Floyd, George Floyd Justice Policing Act. Very excited about that. That will hold particular officers that need to be held accountable. It will hold them in account for what they do. Things that are outside um, their own city, states, regulations. So that's that. But I also want to look at um, Thursday. I want to look at today, later today. What's going to happen? They're talking about, now you know I dropped the videos at midnight. So it's not quite Thursday yet. It's Wednesday, but I am going to drop it at midnight. But the House canceled their sessions for Thursday uh tomorrow today for some of you because of the threat of violence because of course when we hear about things they hear about them too so we remember that q and and others were coming on the 4th of march because that was supposed to be the day that they were going to install trump into the white house because they said that the united states was a corporation and the last real pre president elected was U ulysses s grant and there hasn't been an official president since and yada 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 um that is something that they dug up about the constitution i honestly don't know how right or wrong it is i have not read the constitution like that but that was their intention but now They've actually backed it back, so they're a little bit late. So I'm going to use my Light Seekers card, and I'm going to be back with that. And then I'm going to look at Elaine Cho. I understand Mitch McConnell's wife, Elaine Cho, Chow, however you say it, is being investigated because evidently she took money that she wasn't supposed to use and used it on the family. Mm, very interesting. So I'm going to take a look at both those day both of those things so just hang in there with me and i will be right back okay and i'm back yeah i got the different tripod so i've got the camera hooked up this way and i like this way um so we are going to look at march 4th will there be violence enacted at the capitol or anything else let's take a look let me take a look and see. Okay, so I'm doing a Celtic cross. Uh, I wasn't going to do that. Then I changed it and decided to do the spread a little bit different. So let me get this over here so you can. Oh, I need to come this way with it so you can see it better. But I'll hold them up as I go along so that you can see better. Okay, so the first thing I have for is there violence are these groups coming is the three of wands in reverse let's see if i can get that clear there we have the three of wands in reverse so this is any plans that they had hoping for some kind of outcome is not coming it's in reverse three of wands upright really tells us that you've made your plans you set them in motion now they're happening you're going to get a return they are not going to get a return on what they're doing. They've got the two of cups, which is working for them, says that they are working together. These people, these groups are working together. They are talking about things. They are making plans, but as yet they're not doing anything. They feel unified in whatever decisions they make. They absolutely feel unified uh, regarded. it. We have the 10 of cups. They are like their own family, their own belief. They would be more than overwhelmed if trump was in leadership again that's what they want in the past they started with the insurrection we have the seven of of um, chariots once again it's in reverse says that their insurrection went nowhere their plans to move ahead and get things done and take over the capital didn't happen what's hanging over them is the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune though is in reverse it says that karma has come to visit these people and that is probably why a lot of them are being charged for many things here they have coming up right here is i'm trying to make that clear for you is the fool in reverse 
The fool in reverse is their immediate future saying that this is not going to happen. It's not going to be there. They would like to take a leap. They'd like to start something new, but unfortunately, they're not going to be able to. They don't have a plan. They have no plan, no nothing. It's just what they would want to happen. But karma has come and crippled them. None of their plans are working out. Their past insurrection didn't work it out. They're still holding on to their belief like a family. They're still holding on. Here's their fear card. Their fear card is the Six of Swords. Six of Swords says that it, it should be like you went from these bad times, now we're going to better times. They're afraid that they, as a group, as a family, their whole group, these QAnons, these Proud Boys, these whoever, that they're, they are afraid that they're never going to be back in the position that they were. They're never going to get from these terrible democratic times to the times that they were. Because they figure, they feel like this, these times are the worst times now that Democrats are leading in everything or they control the House, they control the Senate, they control the uh, executive office. And for them, that's like the worst thing that can happen for them. And they don't see a way out of it. Look, another card in reverse. The Hermit card is in reverse. And the Hermit says that this way says that they should go and soul search. They should look inside themselves to say, is this the right thing to be doing? Is this is this what I should be doing? Is this me? Should I should I be a sheep and follow along with everybody or should I be myself? And instead, they're not doing that at all. They're not giving any thoughts to anything at all. They're just moving without an internal assessment. You can't go through life and keep moving without saying, reflect. Is this the right thing? Is this the right thing? The pros and cons, but they're doing none of that. Their wish card is that they would like this whole um, democratic situation to be over with. They want it over and done with, the wheel of fortune, all right? They don't like this, okay? It's in reverse saying that even though they want this to be done and over with and whatever, it's not gonna, ha it's not gonna happen. They're not going to be able to overtake Washington, D.C., and install somebody because they want to. It's absolutely ludicrous. We almost don't even need a reading on this. This only verifies everything I'm saying and you got a chance to see me shuffle. So for sometimes I'll get people, I feel better if I saw you shuffle. I feel better if I saw your cards. Okay, feel better right now because this is what I put out for you. And then you've got, not only you have the Wheel of Fords, you have the, um, the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords says that they are absolutely miserable they're absolutely le losing sleep trying to come up with some kind of plan some kind of something that they can be back in charge again that they can put donald trump in charge or they can get their own type of government installed and by them thinking that this is why karma is hitting them this is why they are getting caught up in charge and everything else and they are awfully worried about that there's like there's a lot of them with some common sense that say i don't want to go back to that again i don't want to have that happen to me because it didn't work out well for them so tomorrow they can cancel the uh house can cancel it's probably good for them to do that but in as far as what are these individuals going to do they are pretty safe in terms of that i think that they are um they the uh, police there are more than aware more able to be protective of the people that are doing their job because that's what it is it's just a job we don't have to necessarily like it agree with it or whatever but it's a job we don't have to act out and as far as these people coming tomorrow to get them it's not going to happen it's not going to happen they don't have any decent leadership they're almost like this piscean type energy that they have a fantasy an illusion a dream of something but they don't have right mind right right mindedness and the funny thing is what comes over is the justice card tips over the justice card and the high priestess they flipped when i was shuffling them saying that these folks already know they're not going to be able to do that these folks need to go within these folks need to remember that cause and effect is still in a place and what you give out is what you will get back so that's on that and i'll be right back okay so now I want to take a quick look at Elaine Chow. Is it Chow or Cho? Chow, I think it is. But, you know, that is Mitch McConnell's wife. And she held, um, I think she was over the uh, transportation 
for Donald Trump. And evidently she was using her benefits to ingratiate her family. So I'm going to see, did that happen? I'm also going to look to see, will she, you know, have to do something, pay a fine or anything. Sometimes, sometimes people with money and connections tend to ease away or those stories seem to disappear from the headlines. This is how I get some in reverse, by the way. And let's see. Yes, yes, she did. The first thing is the Seven of Cups. It's in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse means that she made this decision. There was no, I have to think about it. There's no, I need to assess it. I'm confused. No, she made a decision to offer benefits to her family. That is gifting someone uh, something that they did not expect. And these are benefits. And who did this? This Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse is a real piece of work. May I just tell you that she is real <sighs> witchy. <laughs> Would it be? She's very witchy. She's very demanding. She thinks she's smarter than you. She talks down to people. Um, she's a snob, thinks of herself more than what she is, forgetting that she's human. So this lady did offer them that. Why? Because she doesn't want them to be uh, impoverished. She wants them to have her family, friends have as much as they possibly can. So they couldn't afford certain things. So she gave it to them when she wasn't to. And they loved it. They appreciated her for all the gifts that she gave. Okay. So there you go. Plain and simple. Yes. She took her benefits that she had working for the transportation department. So I guess vehicles or planes or whatever. Whatever benefits they were, I do not know. But she ingratiated them freely. The mean lady, intelligent though, very intelligent, very sharp tongue. She can she can cut you to shreds with that very nasty kind of plotty. Um, yeah, she took that so that they didn't have to spend their money for anything and they could enjoy themselves be celebratory go here go there whatever so yes she definitely did that so no surprise there so let's see will she receive some type of a punishment will she be held accountable now that's the real question will she be held accountable By the way, my husband is feeling better. He had to go get an MRI today. So um, they said they'll have results in a couple of days. So we'll see what that says. He was so tired. He was inside there getting the MRI. He kept falling asleep. They had to keep waking him back up because at certain times, I don't know if any of your spouses had that with their heart. He'd have to hold his breath. You know, so they could get better images. You know, he did that. Well, he said it was like 40 sometimes. I, I wasn't in there with him, but that's what he told me would happen. Will Elaine be held accountable? Boy, I love this setup, guys. Honestly, do I like having you guys in here with me, like really seeing the cards instead of just what I show you. Shall be held one more time. Hmm. Will she be held accountable? Oh, okay. So, yeah, it looks like she is going to be held accountable. She's got the high priestess that says that she knew better. She already knew better. She's expecting to hear about it, you know. She only could hide it for a certain amount of time. Um, a part of her does, you know, regret it. Not essentially, but she already knew. She's a very intuitive, intelligent lady. So, she knew. She's going to 
do this plea. It's going to be a strange kind of plea, but I'm telling you, she's going to come to them in a very feminine way. And she's not really a feminine. You know, some women are a little less feminine than others. She's going to come very feminine that she had to help family. I had to be there for my family. They needed it. She's like, I know what they're going to want to hear. She knows it automatically. And she's going to present it like that. Will that help her? No. She's got the devil in reverse. She's going to be held accountable for what she has done. She is. She's going to be very deceptive. She's got the five of swords. That tells me right there. I'm just going to get this clearer for you. That tells me that she's going to be very deceptive. She's going to lie. She's going to say whatever she can. She's going to manipulate. She's going to manipulate because she's going to come across like, oh, I had to help my family. They needed my help, whatever, whatever. She's going to be very deceptive, very manip manipulative about it. Um, and she's going to try to walk away from it. Like, you know, I, I know I did this. I messed up. I should be okay. Guess what? She's going to be held accountable. This is legal matters coming to her that are going to hold her accountable and she's going to have to repay. There'll be some type of a repayment of what she benefited others with. So her putting on this act, this is a whole act. It is a whole act. This is a very deceptive and dishonest individual. She knows how to play. She feels like she knows how to play the system. But really, she doesn't. Mm -mm. She doesn't. And I think that she's going to try to talk to Mitch because I see him as the devil as well to say, hey, handle this. Uh, but this won't be something he's going to be able to handle. She's going to be responsible for paying for some type of fee, as she should be. I mean, for goodness sake, you did it, so you should be responsible for it. So ultimately, she did the crime. She has to do the time. Although this isn't necessarily a crime. Well, I guess it is. It's illegal use of funds. So she should be investigated. They're going to find out. And that's going to be that. And she should be held responsible for it. Because if we common day people could be responsible for doing something, she should as well. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love that you come and watch. I love your comments. They're always so cute. I enjoy you guys tremendously. Thank you for watching. I love you with all my heart. You guys have a great day. Bye now.